How's it going everyone? In this video we'll be looking at the ultimate iPhone 10 battery case to see if this bulk is worth the extra charge. Let's begin. So as we know, the iPhone 10 has been released for literally over half a year now and still no word of Apple releasing a battery case for this iPhone yet. Nor has other trusted third party brands like Mophie has announced a release date for their version just yet. Which is unfortunate because those were always my go to brands to choose from when it comes to picking up a phone battery. The last thing I want to do is pick up a cheap Chinese knockoff that will fry the internal battery of my phone. But after doing a bit of research, I got this from a company called Zero Lemon. This got my attention because they actually use Apple's certified connection pins. Unlike others, they use these sketchy looking pen connectors. Those will be the ones that you ideally want to avoid. So as we might have noticed, this case is a bit different from what we're used to seeing from other battery cases. It is a three piece design, which means this battery is indeed removable, but unfortunately they don't sell this battery pack separate. So if your battery is fully depleted and you want to swap it out with a full one, unfortunately you're unable to do that. Zero Lemons, if you're listening, sell this battery pack separate, that would be awesome. The battery is an 8000 milliamp battery. From my experience, I was able to achieve two full shards with this battery pack. And the assembly is really simple. Drop in the battery, and then you slide in the phone, and then you'll connect it all using the adapter USB-C to lightning. The texture on this phone is a nice grippy like texture. A little power button you hold a couple of seconds back here and it will activate the power bank and allow the phone to be charged. The buttons are fully responsive. The little vibration switch is nice and exposed. And you also get cutouts for both microphone and speaker. And if you notice, it's front facing and forward facing. This case uses USB type C to charge and also the battery bank can be used to charge other devices with the appropriate USB-C cable. And yes, a USB to USB-C cable was indeed included and this case does support data transfer. So if you would plug this into your car stereo, it'll work just fine as if you didn't have the case. It does have an extremely large opening around the camera. And there isn't any interference with flash or any sort of case interference when shooting pictures or videos. As well as offer great protection around the camera. Now unfortunately there's no headphone jack adapter on this so you're going to have to remove the connector pins and plug in a little dongle like you would normally with the iPhone. So as you notice, this case is extremely bulky. It's literally three times the size of the phone. And if we take a closer look, we notice it's literally a molding outline of the phone as well as a molding outline for the battery to be placed. But this battery does serve multiple purposes, which is kind of cool. With the appropriate cable, you could really just charge anything. Probably one of the reasons why this case sold me for its different functionalities that it has. And now, since it does have Apple certified pin connectors, the case has overcharge protection so it will know when the phone reaches 100% and will stop pushing out current. Now, since the case is rated at 8000 milliamp battery, the iPhone 10 has a 2700 milliamp battery, but I feel that this case is probably rated anywhere from 6000 to 7000 milliamps because I'm only able to achieve up to two full charge with my iPhone 10. But I am a heavy phone user. I'm always watching videos, listening to music, going on social media, taking videos, all that stuff. So it could just be me. But no battery bank is actually rated at its full capacity. So this case is cool that it supports data synchronization, but unfortunately does not support wireless key charging. But then again, if you have a large battery like this, you really don't want to wireless charge your phone because that's going to take forever. Now, is this going to be a primary daily case? That is the question. And in my personal opinion, no, this is one of the cases that you want to take with you. If you're, you know, you're going to be on a long trip to either a theme park, a flight, you just know you're not going to be around an outlet to charge your phone. This is the case that I will take. I always constantly switch back and forth between this case and my daily case. Since this thing does add a ton of bulk as well as a lot of weight and doesn't really offer that much protection. Although there is a lip that goes all the way around the screen giving it the appropriate gap. But that battery does add a lot of weight. So if you would drop this phone, the impact will be much more aggressive. So in conclusion, uh, my thoughts, my opinions, and what I think about this case, for $40, you get an overkill large size battery that can easily charge your phone and some. Since it uses Apple certified pins, you know your phone will be safe. And having this on those long journey trips, you will no longer need to worry about saving batteries just to make your phone to last the entire trip. So if you're looking for a battery case, 
don't hesitate and definitely look into picking this one up for yourself. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. That was my take on this 8,000 milliamp behemoth battery case for the iPhone 10. If you like this kind of content, like what I'm doing, don't forget to smash that like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you're not. Click over here if you wanna see an evolution video of the iPhone, how it started. Do you know it was once a Motorola? Yeah, I didn't either. So go ahead and check out that video, but until next time, hope to see you on the next one. Mic drop. Jeez, that was loud.